Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. We're going to jump right into it. So AMC Entertainment, we ended the day at around forty-four dollars and five cents, guys, down nine point eight percent on the day. So in our previous videos, we were stating that on today we was coming going to come down and retest at forty-eight dollars resistance points, and that's exactly what we did. Also, once we said we was coming down and retest it, we also stated that we didn't think we was going to hold forty-eight. And we didn't, guys. We broke right below 48, coming straight down to around $42.80. And 42 was the lowest point that we said we thought AMC would come down to before ripping back up, guys. And that's what it hit, 42.80 on today. So it isn't any gap fields, but it's always can go back and retest previous price points that we was previously at. And on tomorrow, that's what we expecting, guys. We ended the day at around $44.04 after holding up in between 44 and 40, the high 46 range all day. And then after hours, breaking down to the low 44 price points. And also, once we had made that dip to $42.80 and went back up and had that little increase, we had dipped again. And when we pulled back, the lowest price point was $44.09. And we ended the day at 44.04, giving us an indication that this thing is ready to come back down and retest 42 again, guys. And like I told you in the previous videos, 42 is basically a thin line between life and death for AMC. If 42 doesn't hold, AMC price would be split in half, guys. And that doesn't mean necessarily mean the squeeze is over. Because think about it, even a price split in half at this point is still up. AMC is still doing... If the price split in half is basically still at its all-time high, its previous all-time high, that it, the highest it ever been, guys. And that's still excessive and absurd, if it makes sense. So with that being said, I feel like there's still hope if worse comes to worse, and we do split price in half, guys. Because go back to GameStop. We know GameStop that ran all the way up to $300 plus. $500, almost touching $500, my bad. Some say it did, but I seen it go high as 400 plus. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember what it crashed all the way down to before recovering right back up to the triple digit numbers. It pulled all the way back to $40 per share and then ripped all the way back up to $300 plus, guys. So with that being said, this thing, we know it been having the signs and the moving the same, you know, having the same characteristics of GameStop. So with that being said, it wouldn't be a surprise for a huge pullback before ripping back off to the moon. And even if we was to cut price in half, like I said, guys, think about how high of a price we still would be at. And so, you know, that's all I really got for you guys' this video. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And in the last video, if you want to know for the people that bought in at the $50, $60 range, if you want advice on what to do with your position, if we crack below 42, go check out the last video, guys. And for the ones that got in way, way early on in the $5, $9, $10, $13 range, then you will be the ones that's still in a comfortable position regardless of what this thing do because I highly doubt this thing that we ever see them prices again. So especially before, it won't see them prices before this squeeze is bound to happen. It won't go back to them prices before then. I don't feel like it will. So that's all I got for you guys this video. You already know, don't forget to do all your DD, do your homework, and bring your A-game to the stock market every single day. Always be smart and meticulous, guys. So that's all I really got for you guys this video. Don't forget to use the link in the description below to add your boy on IG and also get your free stocks on Webull, guys. I love y'all. We out, and God bless you.